Hi there. Welcome to Kitchen Chemistry with Essential Wholesale and Labs. I'm Tinika, and today we're going to be working with salicylic acid powder. So salicylic acid is a pretty common ingredient that people like to use for um, less than perfect skin care. Uh, it's a beta hydroxy acid. It's a little uh, more gentle than alpha hydroxies, and uh, it's a bigger molecule. So working with salicylic acid, is somewhat interesting. Um, you have to dissolve it in alcohol or another solvent before you can use it, and there can be problems with that. So let's just jump right in and make a serum, and then I'll explain all of the things that can go wrong while you're making the serum or after you've made it, and also how to fix it. So let's just get started. Uh, you'll need a few things. You'll need, um, for this very simple recipe, of course you can add other things. You can substitute the water with distilled water if you prefer. Um, you can uh, add other actives if you, if you choose. Um, you may even be able to sneak a little bit of oil in there, although that's a little iffy. But anyways, uh, let's just get started and make this very simple version. Uh, you'll need deionized water. I chose hyaluronic acid as the gelling agent. Of course, you can choose a different um, gum if you prefer uh, xanthan gum. If you prefer sclerotium gum, you can experiment and choose which kind of gum. I like hyaluronic acid. It helps. Uh, it's just great for hydration. It's a really powerful humectant and makes a beautiful gel. You'll also need uh, to adjust the pH of the final product. So, of course, a little baking soda. And then this really neat ingredient sodium citrate. So it's just a salt of uh, citric acid. And um, I'll explain that and why you need that a little bit later, but let's make this first. Okay, actually I'll move all this stuff over here so I can make room for my burner. And we'll just, we're going to heat the water. And of course you want to sanitize your area. I'm not demonstrating that particular part of the process. Really what I'm trying to do here is just show you how to work with salicylic acid, how to make a serum, and how to fix it if things go wrong. Um, so you'll heat your water to about 120, 130. Okay, so I'm going to turn my burner on and um, let that heat up and we'll be right back. Okay, so I've heated my water now. Um, I got it a little hot. I got it to 140. Um, one, I said 120 to 130. 140 is okay. It just takes longer to cool down. So um, I forgot to tell you that you need salicylic acid <laughs> in your product. So let's, let's back up a minute. Um, you're going to want to uh, dissolve your salicylic acid into a solvent. Um, before you add it. So it's not part of the ingredients that I've shown because I've already dissolved it. So I think let's go ahead and make this and then we will talk about how to dissolve the salicylic. Okay. Okay. So uh, the first thing you want to do is add your sodium citrate. You can just pour it right in there and your baking soda. Again, just pour it right in there and just make sure that they're fully dissolved. I'm going to turn my mixer on pretty low just to get those mixed in there. It doesn't take much and you don't, of course, if you over mix it'll overflow your container and nobody wants that. Okay. Okay, so now before you make your gel, you're going to want to add your salicylic acid. Um, I've chosen to preserve this uh, with alcohol. So alcohol is my solvent um, for the salicylic acid. So I've dissolved, um, basically we're making a 2% solution, which is uh, the maximum 2% salicylic acid that you can sell over the counter. Uh, in products. So any more than that and it's classified as a drug and you have to have over-the-counter drug making facilities to make that for you. So we're staying at the 2% level because we make cosmetics and I am just going to um, go ahead and because I pre-mixed salicylic acid and organic alcohol and you can see it just dissolves really easily very quickly almost immediately as soon as you stir it in. And I am just going to pour that right into the water phase. So it's all pre-measured out for me. 
And then I'm going to slowly sprinkle the hyaluronic acid in while I mix um, so that it doesn't form fish eyes or clump or get weird on me. Okay, so I'm gonna get that water moving a little bit. <laughs> Maybe a little slower. <coughs> I don't wanna overdo this, excuse me. Okay. Okay, so you just very slowly sprinkle the salicylic into the water, or the, the hyaluronic acid into the water, I'm sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So you can see that's thickening up already and making a beautiful gel. All right. Make sure that that hyaluronic acid fully gels and hydrates. Now that it's a little thicker, I can increase the speed on my mixer and really get that mixed in there. Okay, so that's thoroughly mixed in there now, and we have created a lovely salicylic acid um, gel or serum, um, if you prefer. Uh, so, everything looks great. We're gonna let it cool down, and we pour it off into packaging. So, one of the things that happens when you do this, if you do not add the sodium citrate, you end up with a product that looks like this. And what's happened is, all of the salicylic acid has crystallized out and forms these sharp needle-looking crystals um, in your product. And maybe, you know, maybe that's your aesthetic. It's kind of cool, but the reality is that your salicylic is all sitting over here, so you're not getting much benefit from it. And you can see it's really, it's interesting, the crystal structure, maybe you can see that, I don't know. But the crystal structure is pretty solid, and it's heavy. It'll start to form all over, and then it'll sink to the bottom. So this is what can happen if you don't add sodium citrate. Um, and you dissolve in alcohol. Okay, so I understand you don't have 100% organic alcohol at home to work with. It's almost impossible to purchase unless you're a manufacturer. So even though that was really easy for me, um, I imagine that you'll have to go out to the liquor store and buy yourself alcohol to make this product. Um, we went and bought just plain old regular strength vodka and put our salicylic acid in there, and we were hoping that it would just dissolve, and it didn't. It didn't dissolve. However, I went ahead and put this in an incubator, which you may or may not have access to, and it dissolved beautifully. When it cooled down again, though, this is what happened. So you can kind of see, like, the crystal structure is way different but there's still crystals in there. It's still crystallized out. So we could heat that back up again and dissolve the salicylic and go through the same process that I just showed you with the citric acid and get a lovely, beautiful, clear serum. So that's one way to solve it. Um, I just didn't, you know, if you go to, the, go to the liquor store and buy the vodka, I didn't want you to think that, oh, no, it's not dissolving like Tinica's did because it won't. You, um, you basically have to warm it up. Uh, our incubator sits at about 120 degrees. I left it in for 24 hours. It was actually dissolved after just two hours, but I left it in anyways, just to see what would happen. Um, the, other, the other thing that you could use 
um, is propylene glycol. And you uh, may or may not be opposed to using propylene glycol, but it actually is a very good solvent for salicylic acid, as you can see. Um, there are no crystals formed. Um, it's another great way to uh, use it in solution. You could certainly try to make the serum without this, the citric acid, or the um, sodium citrate. <clears throat> and if you notice crystals forming, you can add the sodium citrate post making your product, and it will prevent the crystals from forming again. So you would need to heat your product up, add the sodium citrate, and let it cool down to prevent the crystals from forming. Um, let's see, sorry, here we go. What are some other experiments I did? Oh yeah, this is another alternative to penylene, or propylene glycol. It's penylene glycol, and you can see the salicylic dissolved in that equally as well. It's kind of a green alternative to propylene glycol. So if you're opposed to propylene glycol, perhaps penylene glycol is a good choice. The one thing that I haven't mentioned is octal dodecanol. And if you read about salicylic acid, it's one of the things that they always mention will, uh, is the most easy to dissolve salicylic acid into. Um, this is true, however, if you just mix the salicylic acid into the octal dodecanol, this is kind of what you get. It's another one where you have to heat it. Um, you have to heat the octal, octal dodecanol to at least 135 Fahrenheit, and then add the salicylic acid, and then high shear mix it. Um, it doesn't go in as easily as you would hope for an ingredient that's for, you, put out there as being the solvent for salicylic acid. So I just wanted you to uh, understand that you have to do a little work to make it dissolve in octododecanol, but it's a great ingredient. It's very skin friendly and uh, it's a good ingredient to use as a solvent. So in making uh, with the octododecanol, I just wanted to see what would happen if I followed normal directions and just put the salicylic in the octal dodecanol, stirred it up, and then made a serum. And as you can see, it's not a very nice serum compared to the end result of what I just made. So this is, this is exactly what I just made, and this is with the same recipe, only using octal dodecanol um, instead of alcohol. So I hope this video has been helpful. Um, one of the things that you definitely want to make sure of in your final product is the, that the pH is at least three and a half. So a couple rules to remember with salicylic acid. You, can, you cannot have more than 2% in your final product, and the pH needs to be at least three and a half to uh, meet FDA regulations. You, anything under three and a half is considered for spa quality and not for sale to the public. So. Uh, three and a half pH and only 2% salicylic acid. And you have a wide variety of solvents to use. Um, and hopefully you understand now how to solve uh, your formulation problems with salicylic acid. Uh, thanks for joining us today. And please be sure to subscribe for more great videos.